So anyway, Alexa play the BBC theme. Ch Did we play that? We have played that. What am I doing? A B Alexa, C stop. D. Anyway, guys, shall we get started with the FYP? Thank you. Actually, let's get started at 50k. We should be doing these likes, guys. Please, everyone, tap the screen. We'll start at 50k. Oh, yes. We'll have all the likes. Thank you for the heart music. These guys appreciate it. Do not worry about the life fest too much. I'm not even going to bother with that. So, thank you, Ali. Thank you, Moles. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you, I will be putting up a second Christmas list. Um, I will do be doing that at some uh, some point today. So it should be up either to, uh, later this evening or tomorrow. So if you do want to buy me anything, I'm going to try and sort this the duplicates out. Because last time, you know, the trolls are putting it in their basket. So I need to, I don't know how to stop that from happening. So I have to get a fiddle about with it. <laughs> so because last time I got all these duplicates, for God's sake. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everybody. So, I mean, I've so far got an, uh, an iPad, um, uh, a phone. Um, oh, that water fountain. I really want that for water fountain for Barbalusha because that looks really cool. CLA's bought a new kitchen. Really? Oh, my God. Wait a minute. I'm, I need to go big. I need to go big. Um, mm, do I need a new bed? No. Mm. What about a dishwasher? We're going to have to go big. Let me think. I'll have to think about it. Yes, guys. Let's get to 100k lights, guys. Uh, buy your own. Why do I need to buy my own? Don't be silly. I'm famous. I'm going to buy my own. Don't be silly. A new car. Oh, my God. I didn't even think of that. Because I do need a car. I mean, if, if bloody... who got a new kitchen? m has got a new kitchen. I could probably get a car. Oh. Don't buy your own gosh, because you have money, love. And how do you how do you know that? Have you been looking? Oh my god, have you hacked into my bank? How do you know that? Hmm. Oh, so anyway, I'm gonna be putting up a second wish list today. And that is because everybody wants me to. So yeah. Um dear, right. Donate your duplicate crimson stuff to your local woman's shelter. You know what? I've actually been using it. And my mum's been using it. I use a lot of gel. When I have a shower, that's when I haven't shower. It's been about, God, about a week and a half now, nearly two weeks. I haven't had a shower. Obviously, you can see I'm still in the same clothes. Same t-shirt. Same this. Same everything. Same headband. Uh, actually, that's different. So I haven't had a shower for oh, nearly two weeks now. So uh, when I do have a shower, I do use a lot of uh, shower gel because as you as you probably imagine, I'm quite dirty when I get in there. More toilet, yes. And just financial advice, I must say she has not been. Thank you, Grinchy. There you go. I have 0.05p in my bank. I didn't want to say, but thank you, Grinchy. Yes. Um, let's start at 100k, guys. We will start at 100k likes. Let's go. What's, let's do a song while we wait. Yeah, 66k uh, likes. Brilliant. Um, doesn't actually clean your, you know, you need soap. Found it out recently. Oh, really? Volume control. But guess what? Since I haven't had a shower, I haven't had a urine infection. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. You know, uh, urine infections, you, I used to get them quite a lot caused by soap. You know, wash myself too much down below. Yeah, don't use soap. If you're going to use something, use double base. But since I haven't had a show, I haven't been getting any. Thank you, Stacey. So it does have some benefits. Yeah. I mean, I don't believe you need to have a shower every day. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, certain places clean themselves. Uh, bless you, Angie. Mental health matters. Uh, thank you so much. 100% it does. I get them a lot using a bar. Oh. You need a special woman's soap with special pH level. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You shouldn't put perfume publics down there. No, you shouldn't. No. Hello, Nikita. We're going to start at 100k, guys. Let's go. Um, I'm also saving water. So who's actually um, winning? Me. We're actually saving money as well. We're one of those that you probably see on that TV program, yeah, where you kind of, um, you, you, you kind of, have you ever seen it? It's the, the cheapest family in Britain. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, the cheapest family in Britain, yeah. We like recycle the bath water, recycle the shower water. We recycle everything, yes. 
We use the same toothbrush, so don't have to. So that's an extra toothbrush saved, right? Mm-hmm. So we're with it, with it, yeah. Yes. Um, love how you don't care what people think. Why would you care about what people think? You know what I mean? You'll never get anywhere in life if you do. Just be yourself. The thing is, what you need to ask yourself is why do people bother? Why do people care, sorry, as to what you do, whether you have a shower, whether you're sick on the floor, whether you're in pissy knickers. What does it matter to other people? Jealousy. Mm-hmm. Jealousy, because I do have a lot of support, you know what I mean? And that's what you've got to think of. I'm also on here 24-7, so I probably take a lot of viewers away from people, so I can understand why they're a little bit bitter, do you know what I mean? Um... I don't understand. the only thing I don't understand is why people become so obsessed with me and they kind of gift against me this I don't understand because the only person you're hurting is yourself you know because what they, what they don't realise is you gifting against me is pushing my viewers up to give me more so it's a win-win situation I don't give a shit whether I win or lose on a battle I'm not going to lie I don't does that make sense anyway let's get to 100k guys fans they are they're my biggest fans it's really bizarre because i don't talk about half the people but they're still following me around the app and going from box to box and i think they are very triggered by me very affected by me very hurt by me and i actually wanted to say i am sorry for for hurting you or because um, i've blocked most or i've blocked you all and i do apologize you won't be you won't be unblocked but um i do apologize that i don't want to be your friend Right, shall we get started? Come on guys, we're 1k, one, one let's go. Right, where shall we, I've got to play this because this is really funny. Where is it? Here. Right, this is um, just Nana and Linz, right? So we, let me take these off, oh, that's better. So this is just Nana and Linz, right? So. Lynn's got a message from a troll, okay, um, and they didn't say anything, they said something not so nice to her, and um, that troll had a picture, right, so anyway, I'm going to play the video. So, Lynn's, being Lynn's, went in on the person that was sending her, well, trolling her. the dog right wait until you see the clip of her right our fucking husband's got water on his face and everything <laughs> it looks like something out of the gremlins and she's got the audacity to call me you bastard i'm gonna find you it's on one of me 20 accounts somewhere <laughs> and that's her who's saying that she's got loads of evidence on me and um i better watch myself Oh. And then you've got all the other, um, the dark side there, like, commenting and saying, oh, I can't wait for this. Take us off. I can't wait. Oh. For God's sake. Right. No. So, she commented on my video. Go on. <laughs> I think they're funny. Somebody called Deb's Peas, who's always in the chat. She said the power filters. Cheeky <laughs> bugger. Where has she gone? Oh, she hasn't deleted it. Where's Ayanna gone? Oh, yeah, she wrote absolute woof woof. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. I don't put the camera on. Oh, I can't even put my freaking camera on. Oh, there. Flip. <laughs> What's that gone off? Can you see it? Right. So, can you see on my phone's a bit smash like? Look at that. Oh, if yeah. you uh, that's, that's me, Linz. Huh? That's me and my husband. That smarty pants has made up a fake profile of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Linz. <laughs> No. Oh my god, what the hell? Yeah, but she's not gonna even if there was that all from there made up to <laughs> fake it out. <laughs> well, I'm pleased it's changed you fucking up. I was just, I was just saying because you were commenting on mine, I was just saying. Yes, we've got words on his face. Yes, she's a big Well, now 
morning. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. I was just telling her back because she was commenting on mine. Your husband looks all right. Well, I'm only joking. I, I, hang on a minute, Linz. You're not telling me. That's, that's no. a fucking fake account. I know, but I thought they because they were going for my looks, so I just started <laughs> See, message me saying you better shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Mm. And honestly, oh, she, she's exactly she made up a when she messaged me with it. She said, "Do you know?" Oh, can I rewind that? It was when she goes, "She says about her husband." <laughs> Like a dog, right? Wait until you see the clip of her, right? Our fucking husband's got warts on his face and everything. <laughs> 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 It looks like coming out of the gremlins and she's got the audacity to call me. You bastard. I'm going to find her. I don't know oh my God, and that's her who when you tweet your When she zooms in on him, she actually zooms in on him as well. Backside and we just record it. Commented on Call Deb's P. Cheeky bugger. Can not even put me figure? Let me just forward it a bit. Right. Can you see on me? Phone's a bit smashed. She zooms like. in on him. Look at that. Oh, if you yeah. zoom. That's, that's, that's me, Linz. Huh? That's me and my husband. That's Smarty Pants. I've <laughs> made up a fake profile of me. <laughs> well, yes. thank you very much, Linz. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Be um, careful when you want to troll someone back making and make sure it's not a fake account, you know, a fake account or fake profile <laughs> picture. <laughs> oh, so there you are, just Nana. <laughs> I like the bit where she zoomed in on him as well. <laughs> oh, you're very pretty, by the way, just Nana. Oh, my God, too funny. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to show you that. Where, where are we next, guys? Let me have a look. Um, um, let's have a look. Oh, so we just go on to the CLA. So CLA had about 5k on last night. Right? Everyone seems to have copied us, you know, with the, with the wish list and all that kind of thing. And, you know, so um, even CLA has copied us. Like I said, we are a genius. Yes. Anyway, she had 5k on last night opening all the gifts. And anyway, so says so someone sends a decorator to CLA's. He hasn't a clue what see what what he's walked into. They actually sent a decorator. Yeah. Oh, God, 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 God. The decorators here, guys. Oh, didn't Is that the you decorate, or does someone send the decorator? No, it's all cool. Yeah, so I'm texting. Yeah, I'm t on TikTok. I have like about seven thousand people now. Oh, oh, oh um, I really sorry. Um, no, no, no. It's, yeah, yeah. Can we arrange for you to do? Look. So basically, I just I've got the paint. Yeah. Um, I need this doing on. One second. So this. Yeah. I need on the walls to smooth. Yeah. I've tried to do a little bit myself. Yeah. And uh, I need like uh, skirting boards I'm going to get just to do. Yeah. I've ordered the electric, um, the electric saw. So, so, to, okay. to cut that, I've got the box to do it. Yeah. I just need to paint all this. I've got the paint and then the hallway. Yeah. And the hallway? Okay. Yeah. So you, you want ceiling walls? Yeah, everything. Um, the so does someone actually doing? pay yeah. for this guy to be there though? Uh, has he been paid or does she have to pay for him? PVC. PVC, but I'm gonna order, because I've got the, um, this is they a pay window for cover. Okay. Oh pay wow, really? Yeah, no, no, you don't pay the windows, the windowsill. Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, the windowsill. yeah, the windowsill, like the door frames, whatever, yeah. Like these, just these. Yeah. 
uh, they paid for her kitchen to be done and her walls. Really? Uh, not at the minute. I just need to decorate. So um, does ceiling. anybody want to come and? Uh, does anyone want to pay for a direc- de- de- decorator to paint our house? <laughs> we also need a new kitchen. <laughs> Decorated, so white, and then I've got the paint, the friendship, so I've got really good paint. Yeah. Um, look here. Yeah. Literally, yeah. I have paint here. Bloody hell. So let's go, we've got some more of CLA actually with her gifts. Bloody hell, I think. Um, let's have a look. Um, oh, Oh no, not another one. Bloody hell. Non stop. Don't forget Miss Red's in my collection as well. And Evil Queen. Like, obviously, Evil Queen's in loads of paintings of mine, to be honest. She's in about five. It was crazy because I was looking at where my paint is. My man has just gone. You've got Evil Queen in the middle. I said, I oh, know, darling, she's in the middle of the heart. But I just put EQ. But that's when I was in the mental hospital and I was going through my journey. So it's all part of what's been going on. 26, thank you, sweetie. I don't know what I'm doing when I'm doing them paintings. So it's just, I don't know, it just comes out. I was just saying, do you want this fucking take it? 26. 26, yeah. Hi, darling. It's 26, 26. Thank you. Oh, thank you, darling. Stop this. Yeah, this is great stuff, darling, for the fucking face, darling. Piles cream. I need to show you something. Thank you for the piles cream. Mm -hmm. I I needed some of this because the other stuff was going on. So, um, this is great for piles, but it's great for Botox. It's great for bags, yeah, because I've been crying, so I'm just going to show you some of that. Why is he coming like this? It's not me in the tube. Oh, this is great. Okay. Is that actually true, is it? This is actually good, so I've been crying. Oh, you stick it in your bonzer, it's not a cream. Face pain. Oh. So is that quite? Is that true then? Oh, I didn't know that. I'll have to. Oh, I'll have to buy some. Uh, it's just that <laughs> oh my god! And then we got here. Let's go to the next one. Just that I've had enough. I'm stressed. I've had no sleep, darling. And if you've paid for it and they know this is my house, why can't they give me it? So I don't want nothing no more. If you want to buy me a present, pardon me, get it me off Amazon. That's what you call a fanny four in the morning. (sighs) (laughs) Oh, for God's sake. Has anybody bought me anything off Amazon? Everyone's doing it now, and it did, it was started from the cult, you know, putting up the wish list. And um, it's funny how people aren't going for other people though that are getting gifts left, right, and centre. But I was, oh my god, I was abused. I forget how we be putting my wish list up again today. I have got some 
I really do need a phone, guys. If you really want, if you want, if you want me to stay on TikTok, I do need that phone. I'm gonna have to start manipulating you now to get that phone. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll have all the gifts. Because I saw it that everybody loves watching people opening gifts. But I couldn't give my address out willy-nilly, though, because obviously I live with my mum, but not just that. Um, um, you don't know what you can get in the post. You know, I just feel if it goes through Amazon, like the wish list, it's, it's whatever's on Amazon, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Bloody hell, you might get dead wet or something. It would go through the OCB. I'm not giving people ideas there. <laughs> you know what I mean? She is brilliant with every penny. Um, NX says hello. Um, and what about myself? Can we please not talk about another creator? How brilliant another creator is, please? Because I will also be putting up my wish list today. Yes. <laughs> right. It's my second Christmas list. My wish list. Can anyone t confirm? <laughs> can anyone confirm if anyone's bought on a real note this is a real note has anyone bought me anything off my wish list I'm just checking we'll, we'll have a check we'll have we should do a wish list wish list check in three times a day so we'll do a wish list check in in the morning one in the afternoon and one in the evening Has anyone, does anyone want to just tell me if they bought me something? Go. Go. Um, I think that's a no. Hi, Santa. That's definitely a no. So that's nothing. No one's bought me, no one's bought me the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> copycat, copycat. I've got a laptop on my. I've got, me anything oh, saying, I've got a laptop on my wish list, but the only thing is, like I said, the trolls keep putting it in their baskets, so I need to kind of fiddle around with it because surely there's a way to stop that from happening. So you know, we got say it says tick. Um, do you want it as a surprise? Yeah, I haven't ticked that, right? And then you got um, keep it on uh, keep the purchase items on your list i've taken that off because that means people are gonna it's gonna be duplicated you know what i mean so i've taken that off so i'm not really sure wouldn't you wouldn't look at her wish list in her mind buy from it would you buy angie not here so um yeah so anyway let's go on to the next thing guys what's happening next oh i've got a headache right Oh, I like this one, me and Dave. This was actually funny. This was the other night, but I only just came across this last night. One sec. <laughs> you know what i really like i i know that dave does get a lot of hate from my side but i do like dave i find him quite funny and you know i know what people i know there are some people that don't like him and you're entitled to your opinions but i think we are funny together <laughs> i think we are a good duo on tiktok don't you think that was class. Yeah, and you know what? That's what TikTok's about, do you know what I mean? Having having fun in it. And you know it's I mean? not that. Has anybody bought Let me see what else have I got here. I don't have a, have a lot to play, really, because I think I'm... We're all over. Well, I say we. I am all over the FYP. Yeah, so um, I don't really want to be sitting here talking about myself all morning, because that's kind of boring. But anyway, let's go to the next thing. So just for anyone to, uh, thinking I was affected by the EQ uh, live last night, um, I wasn't actually, I watched a little bit of it, but then I kind of got bored. Meanwhile, 
Beko, Michelle, Michelle. Beko, Felicia. <laughs> Beko, Pineapple. Who else is there, everybody? Even Big Up Alex Brigham because, you know, even though he's full of shit, he's telling the truth in everything he says about it. The absolute truth. Oh. Can I also just say about that, uh, it wasn't so long ago that, um, and this is not me talking about Alex, I don't really want to be talking about him, but I'm just, uh, you know, replying to what she's saying here, right? Um, She also said that about Alex not so long ago saying that um that he was the obsessed one and blah 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 and you know he's the one with the problem so but but now is she's she's you know because she has a hatred uh towards me for no reason i don't know why um i think it's because i am even though i have gifted her i've still had my opinions on her i'm not like the rest of these flip-flops right i'll never be a, a biased fyp right and that's what she does not like that even though i gifted her and everything was okay i will still have my opinions on her and that is she's the worst on the set and she said the worst on the set you get what i'm saying so for people to think oh and she's a flip-flop you know what i mean she said all this da, 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 now she's gifting her. i've gifted eq for a reason right but I'll still always have my opinions on it. I'll never ever backtrack on that. She is, she has said the worst on the set. And I, and not, I don't want to dislike this FYP to be about EQ, even though hers was about me. Um, you know, she has said the worst things and she gets a free pass. She always gets a free pass. And these are parents, right, gifting her. And I'm not, listen, I've gifted her myself, you know, but these are pe- pe- people that have gifted her, that have had an issue with her, that have said, the, about why is Angie sitting with EQ? Why is Angie um, allow, allowing EQ on her platform and things and all of this after everything she has said and now are uh, now gifting her because they have a hatred towards me. So you've got to just look into what kind of parents they are really as to why you would give someone that has said the most about children when you have children. Um, do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think people's morals uh, go out the window. People, you know, oh, my God. It's the same with the Pearl one, you know. You have Michelle, Michelle, and the rest of them saying she's the biggest racist. I'm an abler of racism because at the time I was friends with Pearl um, and all of this kind of thing. And now they are sitting in a box. But wait a minute, I thought you, not so long ago you were saying she was the biggest racist. You know, make it make sense. And that's because, once again, me, me and Pearl have fallen out. When You know, she has hatred towards me, blah, blah, blah. And that is why you're now sitting in a box. And it's all t- related to me. It's all It all links back to me. So if you fall out with me, they will be your best friends. But until that happens, they will hate on you. And that's the same with EQ. You, you know what they've all said about EQ now, gifting EQ. You know, I mean, not that I'm bothered because I don't give a shit. But um, do you get what I'm saying? It's an app, ain't it? Yeah, it is an app. It's not that deep. It's, it is. But the thing is, sometimes it does come off the app. Do you get what I'm saying? And it has many times come off the app. You know, it's just uh, not real life. I understand. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting there just, you know, getting on with things. And then, I've, you know, you've got EQ having a rant. And, you know, saying, you know, she's got, like I said, I've played many times a video of her saying she's going to break me mentally and all of this and talk about my mom, my dad and all of this kind of thing. Um, and bear in mind, she has said it's not an act anymore. Um, so, you know, we see the real her. Um, but yet I only saw, I saw a broken woman last night in EQ. She's the one affected, not myself, you know. Um, so we all know that she just talks a load of rubbish. And for her to say that about the Pearl situation, about me saying about um, what Pearl said about the orangutan, um, but I sat with her. But I'm not the one. I was not the ones going in on Pearl, saying she is a, the biggest racist. She's disgusted da, 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 and all these things. Why am I sitting with her to then go sit with her? You know what I mean? The fact is, she did say it. The, the words came out of her mouth. So what have I lied about the EQ? Yeah, I mean, morning, Kaker. So let's carry on playing this. I'm doing the crazy. The truth. So, big up everyone who stands up to this wannabe bully because in reality she can't bully anybody and we just give it back and she can't stand that so she'll try and tell her audience not to go and watch that person. If you do, you'll get blocked. Or she'll tell them to phone social services on your children. She's done that to Alicia. She's done it to Michelle Michelle. Um, EQ, can we have the proof of that, please? Because I'd like to see the receipts. We have actually told people to report Michelle Michelle and Alicia to social services. Yeah. From any authoritative figure. They would know that all you are is an alky chat and shit, because that's what alkies do. Oh, yeah. Now you're mocking addictions. 
I'm telling you. Everybody knows that anyone you're mates with, you'll buddy up to and won't say bad things and you'll bring arguments for their sake and that's what you've done with me. Many times you did it with Pearl. Even though you'll say the worst about Pearl now and, oh, she said orangutan, but you had her in your box for months. Your yes, best I had her in my box for months. Like, I um, she was in, I was in her box for months and now she's got a lot to say about me now we've fallen out. But I don't understand what she's trying to say here because even though I have had, uh, we, I was friends with Pearl, the fact is she still said orangutan. <laughs> so what have I lied about? You were hosting shows together, everything. And because you um, don't like a person, you try and make everyone else not like them then. But it doesn't work. Because no one cares about your alcoholism but you. You know what I mean? Everybody sits there enabling you all the time. Yeah, Angie, good. I'm glad that you've got the likes of Linz and Ziana and yeah, all those. Yeah, but you've yes got me. all these enablers around you, um, EQ, where you say things, my six things on children, and people still support you. People still gift you. People still, you know, people don't say anything to you because people will fear you. And I don't understand why people fear EQ. we got to realise, guys, she is no longer an act. She said it over and over again. She is no longer an act yet, but she still has sat there and said about children. She still called someone the, the, a dribbling S, so she's mocked disability. She's still done all of this. So, and so what are you hiding behind now? Nothing. What does that? Yeah, I'm sick. People, yes, 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 because they're leading you down the path of destruction. Because a real friend would not sit there and go, it's all right, yeah, you know, don't worry about it. You know, my mates would be giving me a check up from the neck up and saying, listen, you know, I love you, but, you know, you're doing yourself no favours. Yeah, but that. that's like any friend, you know. And if people know, like, you want to call me an alcoholic, that's up to you, EQ, but um, anyone with an addiction, you cannot just say, oh, listen you're not doing any fa any favors don't drink you know i'm on here people come on tiktok as an ind individual to have fun blah 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 not to babysit me not to care for me not to 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 to, to do any of that do you know what i mean no one forces um alcohol down someone's throat so for you to, for to sit there and say that i have um all these enablers around me i hate that word because no one forces anyone to drink to take drugs to do any of that so basically, what you're saying is that's what they what that's what they're doing. You're saying all this, but yet you gifted to her a lion. I've just explained that, G. I've explained that. I've said this. I have gifted her a lion. I've actually gifted her three lions, but yet the reason why AEQ has gone in on me is because I've still had my opinions on her. I will not flip flop on those opinions and backtrack on everything anything I've said. She is the worst on the app. She has said the worst on the app. She does get a free pass on this app. People have attacked me left, right, and centre for my behaviour, but are scared to go, are terrified to go for EQ. And you got now people that EQ are now supporting, like Michelle, Michelle, that are probably that are gifting her because oh my god eq said something nice towards me oh and i'm gonna go gift her now so where are your morals when you not so long ago you were saying eq is the worst and the things that she comes out with is disgusting but now you want to sit there gifting you because now eq is supporting you you know what i mean and like i said i've said it from the start she ha i have gifted her she ever gifted me no i have gifted her yes but i still i've never backtracked on my opinions about her and that's what she doesn't like Jason. You haven't got friends, you've got nobody. When do you ever have a friend round to the house? When are you ever offline long enough to even phone the police? All these police cases. But she's live 24 hours a day until she goes to bed at night. All day long. All day long. The thing is, you keep saying about how I've got no one. I've actually got my mum, by the way, just so you know. But, and I do have friends off TikTok, believe it or not, I do. Um, and obviously I've got an amazing community. But all you have is Jake. You know, if you have an, if you break up, who have you got? You know, I could say the same thing to you. You know, um, I've heard it all before anyway, EQ. So, I mean, you can't break me. The only person that was broken last night was yourself. 
you know I think you're more easily to, to break and uh, you know with EQ she holds us she's got this front this you know um, I'm not fearful of anything and blah 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 but she is she is very sensitive and if anyone is going to break it's going to be you EQ I mean look at the Rickster uh, thing that happened with her crying all over TikTok that Rickster took her money Rickster didn't want her she um, she believed she was in a relationship with Rickster Rickster you know and all this um, led her on crying she was apps she was crying you know and dg crying about dg yeah and she has these rants and she goes off on one and she had a rage about me last night so who who who, who is more um breakable because it's definitely not me you know and i think you have messed with the wrong not messed but you have picked on the wrong person um eq because people are trying to been trying to break me for a year and um, it hasn't worked. So you're not going to do it. <laughs> and you can say it all. Let me, let, me, let me say it for you. Because, you know, we all know what's going to happen. Um, she's going to talk about my mum, my dad. Yeah, rest in peace, my mum. Oh, my dad. Yeah, rest in peace, my dad. My dad's dead. Um, yeah, my dad. Yeah, I can say it all for you. As <laughs> pissy knickers, I don't wash, I'm dirty, I lay in my sick, um, I'm an alcoholic, um, my mum's going to die soon, and this is not coming from me, this is what EQ has said, and will say, my mum's going to die soon, my dad, yeah, got away from me, I'll say it for you, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I I have a thick very thick skin and I am stronger than you EQ and that has been proven over and over again when you've broken down many times over Rickster, DG and many other people. Yes. And she's best creator on the app. Thank you so much. So yeah, so um yeah, she was very affected last night, EQ, but I don't want to be taught her having a whole FYP on her stay affected. <laughs> Yeah, so let's, um, talking about EQ, let's play Bradley's video, in case you didn't see this last night. So, let's play this. Well, in a relationship with one of the most famous trans in the UK, let's not get it twisted right, yeah? Beat up on a regular basis. We come to the likes of Thailand, I still got beat up. This beautiful country didn't change anything. And fast forward to a year, on my own, on my Todd, loving life, literally loving life, free, single, have as many Jeffries as I like, do you know what I mean? I'd have said, nah, that ain't up. I honestly thought, right, yeah, I was going to leave that relationship in a box or in handcuffs going to prison. Compared to now, yo. To think a year ago I was in a relationship yeah. with one of the most famous... So, now I don't know what's true or not, and I'll never ever victim shame or, or say I don't believe a victim. It's very, it's a difficult one because it's social media, you know what I mean? I, I do think, feel, and I've said it over and over again, even though that I, you know, I don't like EQ, um, I do feel that if you're going to, you know, make accusations towards a creator, yeah, you need to come with receipts. And unfortunately, and I do understand, not all DV, you know, have receipts so uh, to me it's a difficult one to talk about i'm not saying he hasn't gone through that do i believe him however yes i do believe him um but i can't i can't just go and make these accusations and say yes she's done this yes she's done that with no receipts either do you know what i mean because i'm not going to incite hatred on one per on on someone on another creator without ever seeing it, any any evidence of that and i'm every have every right to talk about it because he's brought it on here and it is the fyp his handsome lad here has always say he's obsessed with eq do you think so i don't know but listen you know what can we take that word obsession away for a sec alien right because you say he's obsessed with eq do you not think right someone that's been in a dv relationship now that's if because i'm not making any accusations right here if he has been in a dv relationship with her do you not think that maybe he just can't get over it maybe he just you know he thinks about what she did to him for a long time and he didn't do anything about it he stayed you know have those kind of feelings why did i stay why did i let her get away with it oh my god she she's she's got all the support on tiktok and she's done this to me and how are people gifting this person and you know that hurt me do you get what i'm saying i don't think i would get away uh, I, I would move on from it either you know, I still go on about the past, what I think people have done to me, because it has hurt me. Because, not just hurt me, because I just think, how is that person getting all this, this support after what they did? Or Do you know what I mean? So let's not think this could be an obsession. This could be 
seeing this person on TikTok, yeah, seeing her on FYP, and yeah, you could block her and things, but hearing people talk about her and support her and gift her and, you know what I mean? And he, she's done this and that to me, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, you could look at it like that instead of thinking he's obsessed with her. Uh, Bradley. Do you get what I'm saying, guys? No, no, there's no time limit when it comes to trauma. No, exactly, there's no time limit when it comes to trauma. I mean, I've had trauma in my life and I still think of it. You know, I still can't move on from it. Why would you move on from, from that? He's very young too. Yeah, he's a very young guy. You know, and listen, I'm not saying what he's saying is is, is, is true or not. I don't know. And unfortunately with DV, you, you, it's hard to, to, to have evidence and, and all of that kind of stuff, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But I'm certainly not going to sit here and say EQ hit him when I really don't know. Sorry guys, trigger warning. I agree, it sticks with you for years. 100% it does. But I think when it's off, someone comes onto my platform off TikTok, right, and say to say, I've been through a DV relationship, right, um, I, I, would, I would believe them 100% because I'm not going to victim shame. And this is what people don't understand. People always say a victim shame, and, I, and I'll explain this. I'll explain it so many times. I don't do that. When it's off TikTok and I don't know who that person is, right, they've just got a name, I don't know who they are. So, yeah, of course I'm going to believe it. I'm like, you know, oh my God, I'm really sorry for that, blah, blah, blah. But when you're accusing someone on TikTok, it because it's, it's, it's very different because you're accusing someone that's going to get a lot of hate we know their fate we know what they look like we know their name some people might know where they live okay so it, it, it is a very dangerous accusation i'm not saying it's not a, a, a correct accusation but it could be a dangerous accusation to be making and i just feel that you've got to come with receipts if you're going to make these accusations on social media i don't believe this should, should be on social media i think it should be dealt with, with by the police you, you get what i'm saying um, and that's what that's why I say, do you have receipts for that? If you're going to say accuse someone on here, um, and I get uh, crucified for that. Oh my God, Angie's victim shaming. But think of it, of it the other way around. You have been accused of something, and you haven't done it. And I'm sitting there running with something, and I've seen it many p times. People have, that have lied even about what they've what they've gone through about another creator. So it's happened to you, and I've made an accusation against you, right? And I, or you know, someone's made an accusation against you, and I'm just running with it. No evidence, no nothing. And you're getting all this hate in your inbox. You're getting threats. People want to go and beat you up. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's why I think when it comes to social media, and we know of that other person you're making an accusation towards, you've got to come with receipts. Not everyone's going to have receipts and i understand that it becomes very difficult but then in that case it should be just dealt by dealt with by the police so it's not me victim shaming at all but i just think well what if that was me and i've been accused of things that have, are not true oh, i went through do you and that's made it worse yeah but do you understand what i'm saying guys it's not that i don't believe you it's just i know what would happen it being on here you know the threats that person is going to get and what if it is a lie because people have lied about things like that you know to get back at someone unfortunately you know that's going to be on me do, do you get what i'm saying what if that person unalives himself due to the 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 threats or whatever you know do you get what i'm saying all that kind of stuff you know i'm not going to be responsible for that so you got to tread carefully you know so anyway yeah so whether i don't listen i like i said i don't know uh whether the bradley and eq is true or not um if I was to talk to someone off TikTok, you know, I'd probably, yeah, believe Bradley. I don't know. I don't think he would lie about it. But um, I don't know. Who knows? They would be saying it just to bring them down. Yeah, some people could just be saying it to bring that person down. Do you know what I mean? I think things have, have, have happened between EQ and uh, Bradley, though. I do think something has happened. But whether it's back and forth, though, I don't know. I think she might have done something, you know, um, aggressively towards him. But whether I don't know whether he's done that back. Do you know what I mean? Where it just becomes a toxic relationship where it's he's, he's done this, she's done that. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not definitely certainly not going to sit here and um, make accusations that EQ did this, what Bradley is saying. Why would he do after this length of time? But you could say that about, you know what, when I first came on TikTok, I, I thought that about a, a, a situation. Why didn't women report it? You know, the Jimmy Savile situation. Why didn't we, I didn't understand why didn't women report it at the time? Because, you know, they didn't get their justice. It didn't make sense to me and all these kind of things. I had all these questions. It makes more sense to me now because, you know, and uh, I think a lot of women, you know, um, all men, you know, um, are scared they're not going to be believed or they just, uh, is that the hassle or it's, you know, it's the anxiety. It's a lengthy process. Oh my God, I'm going to have to go to court 
court. You know, it's all of those kind of things. So I do understand why women don't go to the police straight away or don't ever go to the police in some cases, you know, because of, of all those reasons. You know, and sometimes you are be, you are treated like uh, like like that person is the victim. Do you know what I mean? Especially in court. You know, it's it's a, it's a um, it's traumatizing, man. You know what I mean? All men. That's why I said all men, Beth. One hundred percent. Men go through it too. One hundred percent. Well, you know, if Bradley's gone through it, he's a, he's a male. Also, yeah. I believe him. Just look at his eyes, fella. But yeah. A lot were vulnerable in the JS cases. Yeah, 100%. But at the time, like I said, I mean, I'm talking three years ago or whenever it was. I mean, I, th I couldn't understand it. But I do understand it now. So let's just move on anyway, guys. So Chester. I don't know what Chester's ranting on about here, but um, I haven't played this one. You only seem to care about Bradley when you are beefing EQ. Uh, fact for eat, eat What's that? Cat is. Okay. Um, no, that's not the case. I have just said, right, I have, you know what, I've, when Bradley came onto my platform, he was shut down. And I said, no, let's not shut him down. He has a voice. If he wants to talk about it, he has the right to talk about it. Although I don't agree with talking about that on social media. I think it should be dealt by the police. I'm not, I'm just saying, if I was talking to a friend off TikTok and, and so, someone asked me, what's your honest opinion without receipts? Do I believe him? And I said, well, from what I've uh, heard him say, probably yes, because I don't think he would make it up. I bet, although some people do make it up. Um, however, um, it could be back and forth where he's done something to her as well, where it's just toxic. You know, maybe she's pushed him, he's pushed her back, or she's thrown something, he's thrown something. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not saying what he's saying is true, yeah? I'm just, this is just my opinion. Do you, do you understand? I think something happened, yes. But I'm not sitting here making accusations and saying he is telling, the, uh, you know, because we have no receipts. We can't just run with with it with no receipts. And it's not because I'm having beef with EQ. I could be sitting here saying, yep, she did it. Yes, she's an abuser. She, you know what I mean? I have not said that. I said I cannot run with it with no receipts. All right. Let's go on to the Chester video. I mean, I'm not like EQ. I mean, EQ called me a pedo last night. She said I was a pedo at the age of 14. She said I left New Zealand because I'm a pedo. <laughs> so, but I was 14 when I left that country in 1989. So, yeah. Still got children on your mind. Yeah. Right. So... And another thing with EQ, she keeps saying that she she was an act and all this and stuff and blah, 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 she, you know. But she's no act, no longer an act, but she's still saying the things she said as an act. So we all know she has definitely hidden, you know, hid behind the act of hers. Because what's her excuse for the things that she's come out with recently? But everyone's going to give her a free pass and support her because um, it's a weird thing. Unless it happens to you, let's just support her. Do you know what I mean? I, find, I do find it odd. She's not an act. No, what I'm saying is she said on video she used to be an act. She was an act, right? And I'm glad she said that because she has no excuse now for the re things she said recently. Yeah, she hid behind that act. No, I'm just saying she's not an act. I'm just saying what she's been saying. Right, let's see what Chester has to say. I'm doing the crazy one. Drop the phone. Give me a sec. Oh, for God's sake. Let me just take this off. Better. Right. Angie stays in the bedroom, Miss Red stays in the kitchen, EQ stays in the bedroom, and the only fucking one what goes out the fucking house. None of these people leave the house. <laughs> she's not, she's an absolute balance. Miss Red is an absolute balance. That's all I'm going to say about the case. She knows I don't like and I don't, I've never have them. I've never have them. But the only reason creators are up her ass is that because she gets a couple of thousands in the room. Yeah, Miss Red, just let you know, darling, they're not all there for you, darling. They're just here to say what your point of view is. That's all the same. Doesn't mean they like you, darling. Keep going like 
Prince Fred all the time. You're just manipulating your audience to give him. That's what. And you go on about just start having the hot sweats. Oh, Sam Walker's just gifted me a line and stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Haven't you got a husband? Haven't you got a husband? Yet you're doing a hot sweat over some guy you've never met or spoke to over TikTok. Yet well, you're like this. Oh, oh Stan Smith, Stan... No, not Stan Smith, fuck it. What's your man? Oh, was that it? I was lagging. What about your husband, Simon? Would he... Oh, because he sent you a gift, but you would get 150 pound out of pretending that you've got hot sweats on your back or because he's sent you a gift. And I think, Miss Red, think about it, darling. Haven't you got a husband? Because I'll tell you what, if I was married to you and you started doing all that in front of somebody who just sent you a gift, you'd be fucking divorced. <laughs> then she'd just say, yeah. This is just a horrible, stupid, fake laugh. <laughs> Shut up. You absolute bellend. Absolute bellend. Then she starts talking to that weird voice. <laughs> this way, you're an absolute bellend, then, Tom Darling. You're an absolute gr You're the biggest scum in Grinsby. You're the biggest scum, darling, in Grinsby. You're an absolute fucking shit, darling. You're nothing but scum of fucking Grinsby. That's what you are, darling. Fucking misrep. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh. So, another happy uh, client. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what? He is right there at the beginning when he said that. I mean, I do go out, obviously, when I'm off TikTok. Um, I don't tend to go out when I'm on TikTok because I'll have to put a filter on because then, oh, well, the people that don't know my lo location, um, I'm going to be showing where I am. So, I, uh, you know, even though I'm on here all the time, I do tend to sometimes go off, uh, go out. But, you know, he's, he is right though because people go on about me sitting in my bedroom. All oh, Angie does is sit in that little box room, blah, blah, blah. But then you've got Miss Fred sitting in the kitchen. I mean, I know she's not alive all day, but she just sits in the kitchen. You you know, you've got, who was the other one? Um, who else did he say just there? Ems just sits in his kitchen. And that's actually true, actually. No one actually goes in on, in on Ems. I never see her go out. You know what I mean? All she does is sit in that kitchen. Drinking. And she drinks every day as well. Ems drinks every single day. When Iki was saying about uh, Ems is not like me and she's not the, you know, drinker like me, is she okay? Is she you know, this is the thing with EQ. She's got a bias to FYP. If you're friends with her, she'll say nice things. If you're not friends with her, and that's why Scout Slayer is, um, wants to be friends with her, because she knows that EQ will be on her side. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, but it makes sense to me as to why they're friends. Do you know what I mean? Two peas in a pod. Um, but with the M situation, she drinks every day. Heavy. She drinks vodka. I don't drink spirits. I have 13% alcohol, 11, 11 to 13% alcohol. Yes, I think with red wine, the reason why if um, I get the way I am, I think I'm allergic to it. <laughs> I think it's the red wine, I really do. Um, however, with M, she drinks 40% of vodka, you know, and she's been drinking for years. She's been drinking on Facebook. I started drinking probably four years ago, uh, and it was only weekends. It's only probably been the last six months I've been drinking a little bit more, you know, a lot more than I have been. Um, so, you know, and they do go about how, how long you've been drinking. And Ems has definitely been drinking a lot longer than me. She's 32. I never drank at 32. I'm 49 years old. I didn't start drinking until four years ago, which was 45 years old. She's been drinking since, what, in her 20s. So um, if anyone's um, unhealthy, because also uh, EQ said I'm a lot, you know, she's a lot healthier than me. Um, the fact that she's been drinking in her twenties, heavily drinking since she, in her twenties, I would say her, her liver's probably fucked. You know what I mean? Um, so she probably should really get that checked. Um, yeah. So there is a difference. You know what I mean? To drinking, how old is she? To, 30, drinking twelve years. Say twelve. You say she started drinking at twenty. Ten, twelve years to four years. I've been drinking vodka, red wine. Yeah. 
Um, even though I have been drinking a little bit more, I've probably made up to her drinking every day. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because, like I said, 13% alcohol, 40% alcohol. Um, she also drinks all the way throughout to the morning. I'm not saying that I haven't done that, because I have, but I don't do that every day anyway. Ems, from what I see, drinks every day at 8 p.m. Every single day she's got a drink. And for you to say that she doesn't get in a mess, I've seen her vomiting, I've seen her unconscious on the floor, I've seen her um, pick up her food and eat it off the floor. I have, um, then don't forget that Sean that did what he did in the shower. Um, then we've got, yeah, who, who when she fell off the fridge, she's a mess. She's always falling off the, is EQ okay? So when you've got people saying to me that about me being sick and da 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 they won't go in on M's because it is a personal vendetta and that's all it is. You know, because not once have they even mentioned what M's has done. She's SH'd and you've got EQ sitting about, talking about my SH while her friend's SH'd and she's done it on TikTok. Yeah, she's done worse things M's than I'll ever ever do on, or ever have done on TikTok the worst she's docs numbers she's docs addresses you know what i mean she's done the what she's got the police and ambulance there listen i've had the police and ambulance here but she has them there every, nearly every day every single day the police ambulance fire brigade she's abusive towards them so please don't sit there eq and say that she, um, i'm worse than ems a hundred percent thousand percent not and i haven't been drinking as long as her either and i don't drink the percentage she drinks either she's probably used to her alcohol right i'm still not used to my red wine you know what i mean i always say if you're used to alcohol yeah go and get checked out because you've probably got an alcohol problem she can't take the green that's it yeah she also yeah she does all other substances as well ems doesn't she and she does sit there talking a lot of shit so um ems is definitely the worst and she um is not healthier than me a thousand percent not because you've got to remember guys i'm 49 she's 32 right so by the time she gets to my age yeah well just think of that do you get what i'm saying i never drank in my 30s or 20s so she's doing it when she's young and it's, it's all about the length you, you drink as well do you know what i mean and how much you drink and the percentage you drink yeah she is a mess absolute mess i don't go picking up uh men off the street they've got tags on the, their foot because i want the views ems is damaging herself yeah the difference with me and her is i don't do it for views right she does it for views she's damaging her body for tiktok views okay that's why she gets the views and eq is sitting there saying it's because ems says ems knows how to get the viewers in and all this she knows what she's doing no she doesn't and that she does what she does is drink to get views she damages damaging her body to get views and you're also no friend of hers eq because she sat there saying my friend should call me out but you're not once have you called ems out to say listen this is not the way to get views if i could go and pick up a man right i would probably get 5k views anyone would get 5k views if they've got a stranger in their house and people worried about them like she always wants her viewers to to make to believe that she's the victim he could do something to her this is what she loves oh my god he's got a tag oh my god everyone's searching him up oh my god are you okay ems so when you say eq she knows what she's she's, she's doing yes yeah, she does and that's to get a strange men into a house that's got tags on, that's been to prison, that we don't know, that people are going to be worried about her, people are going to be, oh my God, well, what's going on? Get the viewers in and damaging her liver at the same time. So she doesn't really know what she's doing, does she? Because that's the only way she can get views. <laughs> and that's a fact. People would have uh, so much more respect if you admitted you have a problem too. I don't have a problem with Philippa. And even I've, I've told you, I've gone there. They don't think I've got there. They said I'm a binge drinker. So don't please sit there tell me what I am and what I'm not. From the bus stop. Yeah, she picks men up. For, that's her content. So when EQ is sitting there saying, Ems knows how to get her viewers in. Yeah, she picks them up from the bus stop. That's her content. It's strange men in a house. So I don't think it's content, you know. And also what she's doing to her liver and her body for the views. Yeah. And just likes to have a good time once or twice. Yeah, listen, there are times I've, I've drunk more than usual, but you've got to realise I don't drink spirits. Yeah, I make sure I eat. There's only a couple of times I've not eaten. I make sure I eat with it. Um, and it's wine. You know, listen, all alcohol is bad. I'm not saying it's good. 
but you know percentage does make a difference you know also um you know she Em's probably drinks a bottle of vodka a day so that's 40 fucking percent and that's what she does eq so yeah you're right she does know how to get the views and by damaging herself right now let's what have i got next i think i've gone through all the videos let me have a look oh we've gone through them who's in the box one sec oh that was a nice quickie fyp Her hair is thinning. She looks. Listen, you, I might not. I might look terrible. Listen, I can go scrub up and look okay. I'm not gonna lie. I can, but I might look a bit today and yesterday and the, the whole week. But look at her. Her hair is thinning, man. Hey, Lala. Good morning. Morning. Uh, Angie, I was just gonna say on your other phone. Why don't you Google the definition of an alcoholic? Google the definition of an alcoholic and go through them because I know there's shakes, withdrawal, all them kind of things. Yeah. You don't seem to have any of them. So just for the dickheads in the comments, Google the definition of an alcoholic and that's all. I'm off to yeah. my therapy. Goodbye. Well, they seem to know more than the um, alcohol the alcohol clinic. You know what I mean? Um it describes a strong, often uncontrollable desire to drink. I can control that. Although it isn't a term that is used anymore as part of the medical team, some people who are recovering from uh, used term alcohol to describe themselves. Um, also known as alcohol, da, 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 misuse, da, 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 da. yeah, I'm definitely not. I'm a binge drinker. And if you know who think you know more than the alcohol team, well, what the fuck? Go work for them then. Yes. Get off TikTok and go work for them because you seem to know more than what they do. My hair's really, so my hair's really thick. Yeah. So anyway, um, guys, we have now finished. Let's see if Dave Duran is on because he did try and re request me earlier. Has he come off now? Let me have a look. I think he's come off, has he? I think he has come off. What about Zach? Is he still doing FYP, Zach? He's come off. Not the doctors in the chat. Oh, we've got all the doctors in the chat, guys. Yeah, all the doctors. Um, she's in denial. I'm in de what? Who me? I'm in denial. But I'm not in denial. I'm telling you what the alcohol and drug clinic said to me when I went to go and see them. Did it, you do know I had an appointment with them, right? They actually said I was a binge drinker based on what I told them, and I never lied. Yeah, I don't drink every day. I don't need a. An urge. I don't have an urge to drink. I don't get withdrawal symptoms. I can easily stop drinking and not drink again. I drink because stresses, um, my mental health, and so on. I hate the taste of alcohol. I don't like the taste of alcohol. No, wait, I never said, oh my God. I never said they said binge drinking was okay. I never said that. I asked some questions and they said, we think you're a binge drinker, not an alcoholic. Okay, because I did tell them what people say on social media. And I said, well, you know, we've got all these doctors on. And they said, well, I don't believe you're an alcoholic. I think you're a binge drinker. That came from them. They're not saying it's okay. Um, so any problems you reach for alcohol? And not any problems, no. But a lot of it's mental health because I'm not on the medication. So. Um... Yeah, but binge drinking, um, you can stop. You uh, you can stop with binge drinking. Alcoholism, you, you can't just stop. You need um, help, you know, to, to stop alcohol. Yeah. With binge drinking, you can. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. Oh, just piss off. God, I can stop whenever I want. Oh, God. You know what? I tell you what. Shall I stop for two weeks just to prove my point? For two, I say two weeks because then I can have a night, actually a nice drink to say, oh my God, people can now get off my back and stop calling me an alcoholic. Okay, here we go. And let's not, let's actually include yesterday because I didn't have a drink yesterday, today. Yeah. Pretty sure everyone in Australia has a binge drinker. Got, yeah, and New Zealand, they're big drinkers, yeah. 
I love the alcohol in New Zealand. I have to prove anyone to anything to anyone exactly. You could do it for two universes. Or who's going to send me the uni? That's the point. I will do it for two unis, but who's going to send me it? Yeah, I do get so uh, just a condition called PPPD, and I get really dizzy. And um, it does a bit, not a lot of red wine, but like a glass of red wine does help the dizziness. I I believe it's red wine. Yeah, I believe it's the inflammation. Yes, yeah, because it's good for inflammation. And I do feel there's some inflammation, in, you know, in your I don't know, in your brain, in your ears, or whatever that causes dizziness. Because if you think about it like this, I take the I do these exercises. Well, I don't really do them anymore, but I used to do all these exercises. Like, and the exercises made me dizzy. They were make, meant to make me dizzy. And that was walking in circles, walking the other way, doing that, doing that. Every all of that made me very dizzy. And that was the exercises to help stop the dizziness. So it kind of does make sense. What does red wine do? It makes you dizzy. So it actually, at the same time. It stops you from feeling dizzy. I don't know. It, does, it doesn't make sense. It's like contradicting itself in some ways. But alcohol, red wine does make you feel dizzy, doesn't it? But not that kind of dizziness. It's kind of a more of a different dizziness. But it's kind of. Does that make sense? All I can say is, since I've been drinking, I have not got any dizzy spells. Well, a couple. Of, don't get me wrong. I have at times, but why are people so invested? I know. Um, does Zach, is Zach the Brett finished, is FYP? Can anyone go and see if he wants to do a battle? That's all that, uh, yeah. You're laughing at yourself, oh god. Now, I wonder if it'll be on here, let me have a look. It was on his website. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know if it'll be on here to be honest. Um let's see, let's see, let's see. What does this say? So it says, someone's put, I have had my Disney story for a year now and I've been avoiding it since, but last week I went out with some friends and just had one bit and I felt great afterwards, not, um, felt normal. So this person is also saying that they've had a bit of alcohol after the, the PPPD, which is what I have, and, the, and it's helped their dizziness. So why, and they're saying well, this is really weird because when I seem to drink I don't have my PPPD. And some of the, I don't know if the doctors reply, because of... Because it affects the firing of neurons in your vestibular system, similar similar to how benzos help with the dizziness. I don't know what that means, but there you go. Um. Could be also anxiety as well, you know, helps with anxiety because PPP, PPPD, that condition, some a lot of people do, some people do get it through anxiety as well, where, um, you know, you've had that kind of, I don't know if that's the right word, trauma, not trauma, but uh, episode of dizziness, right, and sometimes you, you fear the tri your triggers, like me laying straight down like that without getting dizzy, and you avoid that, so it, what happens is you, you start to... Um, avoiding those triggers and start getting a little bit anxious or oh, am I going to get dizzy if I go out or if I lay down I'm going to get dizzy and I suppose having a glass of wine um, takes that anxiety away where you forget your PPPD because with PPPD 
um, what actually helps is a distraction. So, for example, if I've got real bad dizziness here, and I'm like, oh my god, shit, I've got to go pay my car, my MOT for my car, I'll be like, okay. So I won't actually get dizzy. That dizziness will actually disappear because I've distracted my my brain to thinking oh, I've got to pay my MOT. It's a really bizarre condition, um, but it is very true. A distraction can actually help with PPPD, and it just disappears. So I'm just wondering it's the same with alcohol, where they um, your anxiety is lessened, you know, lessened, and it's a lot better your anxiety where you don't you're not bothered about your triggers, so you don't have that dizziness. Do you know what I mean? It helps with anxiety because anxiety is linked to PPPD as well. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Yeah, because you, when I had all these episodes of dizziness, I was, I was quite scared of going out and getting it, or laying down straight, or doing certain exit, certain things that's going to bring on my dizziness, and that and I started getting a bit anxious about that. Yeah, but so if I have a glass of wine, that anxiety would disappear. So I won't. My anxiety had sometimes brought on my my dizziness. So having that wine stopped anxiety, so that anxiety stopped the dizziness, so that could be it. But I also think, because another thing, I had um, inflammation in my ear, which caused the episode. I had a couple of conditions to cause this, this PPPD condition, and one was inflammation in the ear. And I think also with the red wine, it does is grapes in it, so it does help with inflammation as well. But I definitely did when I said, went to see a private consultant about my. And I say well, the reason I say private is because it's really hard to go NHS with with um, the inner ear. So my my condition is to do the inner ear, yeah. So the ears, nose, and throat they do the. It's all about the uh, inner ear and outer ear. Yeah, so the inner ear is hard to get and uh, see a doctor that specialises in that, you know. Well, and you can see a neurologist, but you can make, make months, you know what I mean? So I went to see like a, um, a vertigo, you know, doctor that was specialised in vertigo, really. And um, so he wasn't a neurologist, but he specialised in the inner ear. And he said to me that not a lot, but a little bit of red wine will help your, your condition. But he didn't say why. So I assume those re the reasons I've just told you is maybe why the anxiety, because um, anxiety is a big link to PPPD. And so the anxiety and all that kind of thing, and also maybe the inflammation, because I had that in my ear as well. Uh, can a symptom? You know what the funny thing is? You know, you say can tinnitus be a symptom of BPD? I get tinnitus. I've I had BPD. I know you're gonna think, oh my gosh, you've got all these conditions, but it's it's a really complex um, condition. Basically. In 2019 or whenever it was, right, I was laying, I went to Winter Wonderland, took my niece there, right, and I went on this roller coaster, my head was going everywhere, and all of a sudden, three in the morning, I sat, my head started spinning like this, really uncontrollably, and it was awful, I felt really ill, and I had gone to various doctors, because it's really hard to diagnose it, because a lot of other things mimic it, um, they've got all these different conditions, like many years disease, you've got all of them, and they put it down to BPV, what you were talking about, which is the crystals in the ear, where they get dislodged in your ear, and that's the crystals uh, control your balance uh, <clears throat> and they were dislodged and there's an exercise you called called the Epley um, if I've said it correctly exercise and that actually put, it's like a you know it reminds me of one of those games with the little holes and you, you've got to put the, the balls in the holes it's like that it's an exercise and just puts the you have to do it a few times sometimes put the crystals back in your ear um, but they anyway so at the time I didn't know I had that though because I'd seen me thank you for the, the gifts I've seen doctors and didn't know really what it was so I went to a private one just because I wanted to get it sorted straight away you know otherwise you know the NHS is it's very difficult when it comes to vertigo you know what I mean um, um, and then I went to see this um, this guy that specialised in vertigo and um, they, he said I've got BPV, the, dis, the ear, dislodged in the ear. I also had inflammation in my ear, which also meant I could have had a bit of an infection in my ear. But he was not sure about that. But I put it down to that fucking ride on into London, Wonderland. I went on there in 2019, I still goddamn on it. You know what I mean? I put, yeah, because I think it done something to my ears. And um, anyway, that's what he said I got. And then um, he said, because I got that, so many episodes of vertigo spinning, it caused another condition, which is PPPD, which is no cure for, which will, will be um, just non-spinning vertigo, yeah? Um, and he said a little wine might help. And that's what he said. Not obviously a bottle to get drunk. But that's why I think when I do drink wine, I don't get it. But when I don't drink wine, and I'm just telling you exactly how I feel. When I don't drink wine, I get dizzy. When I drink wine, 
I don't get dizzy. I get tipsy, drunk, but it's a very different kind of uh, dizziness. Do you know what I mean? And that's it. But tinnitus is not really a symptom of BPV, um, you know, with the crystals, but I did get uh, tinnitus, and I still sometimes get tinnitus with it as well. If, you, if anyone wants to talk about the ears and vertigo, I'm an expert. Yeah, I think at this point I should become a doctor. Teenies, P's and D's. It's a very, you know, it's a very complicated um, day, um, condition um, because you've also got mini ears disease, which is what, what someone, uh, one of my mods has got, and it's one of the worst types of dizziness. And I thought, oh my god, I could not live with that. So I had to go get a hearing test and everything. Yeah, to, a lot of people are misdiagnosed with different things, though. Do you know what I mean? It's really difficult to diagnose. But PVBD is a really horrible dizziness condition to have. A lot of people can't go out of the house with it because they get dizzy, like going in shopping centres, looking at lights or traffic or busy, you know, roads, you know, and it uh, trigger it sets off their dizziness. But I'm di I'm a little bit different. I uh, when when you drive, my driving doesn't uh, being in motion. It's like I'm still on the roller coaster. It's being in motion um, as it helps it. Weird, isn't it? ENT doctors specialise in ears, nose, and doctors specialise in dizziness. They, you know what? They don't specialise in dizziness. Ears, nose, and throat. They don't. Ears, nose, and throat is just um, um, they really don't specialise in vertigo. So don't go to an ears, nose, and doctor, please, because that's um, they will probably misdiagnose you. What you need to see with it if you've got a vertigo, if it's to do with the in, ex, inner ear, and I'm ears, nose, and doc, throat doctor, if it's something to do with the ear, yeah, outer ear or middle ear infections, all that kind of thing, yeah, they'll deal with that. But when it comes to vertigo in the inner ear, which is because of the inner ear, yeah, that's you want to go to see an either a neurologist or, um, well, any doctor that specializes in vertigo, which is, I think I can't remember the name, Otto Neurology, I can't remember something like that. But the best best uh, doctor to see is the pri private doctor. Yeah, ENT is generalised exactly, but they don't specialise in d dizziness and stuff like that. Book a appointment with Angie instead. Yes, if you want to book an appointment with me, um, please do. And another thing, if you've got associated migraine, that's also part of a dizziness. Um, half the people don't actually have a headache. So um, just remember that as well, because that's actually quite common. Associated migraine is actually a form of dizziness, but people do get headaches with it, but half people don't. So why do they call it that? I don't know. Uh, she has a ringing ear constantly. Yeah, you know the ringing ear, that's tin tinnitus in your ear. That's, um, that could be due to infection. So if you they've doctor check, checks your ear, it could be that. could be because of loud music if you've gone to a concert. Um, it could be um, a BP, you know, some some kind of something to do with it in the ear. But the best thing to do with that, because the tinnitus is really hard to, to, to cure, to get rid of really, is to put your TV on, music on, where you can't actually hear it. It depends if you've got any other symptoms with the tinnitus though as well. I have been uh, BPPV. Oh right, BP, yeah, BPPV. Well, you have it. Most most patients that do have BPPV usually get it. Fifty percent of people that have that it, it does actually come back, but that's ninety percent curable. That, so I wouldn't worry about that. What you could do is, but always go to see a doctor. Is um, what you call the Epley maneuver, and you might know about that if you've got that, and that actually puts the crystals back into place. I mean, you might still feel a bit dizzy afterwards, and might not happen straight away. You might have to do the exercise a few times. But that's uh, very curable. I bet they I have. Crackling when yawning. Morning, Maz. No, my tinnitus is a lot better though, actually, in my ears. But that's because distraction. That's uh, with PPPD. It's a quite a rare condition. It's newly diagnosed, I think. I have many ears, suffers migraines, I have a hearing aid for them, cluster headaches right now. Yeah, many ears is awful. Everything you are saying is true, I have ear problems due to being in a band, oh, really. Yeah, loud music and things. 
Well, people, I always advise, advise people, I'm acting like a doctor, Dr. Angie in the house. I advise people, guys, not to um, use earphones that, that go in your ear because it, it's, um, you could get ear infections and all those kind of things. If you get an ear infection in the middle ear, it could go to the inner ear, and that's what you don't want because once you get an ear infections, you, you, they do tend to come back. And that's when you get the dizziness because your inner ear controls your balance. Yeah, it's fine. You know, an airway ache is, is an awful pain to have, but it always but always think that it also could be coming from the mouth. You could have a problem with your teeth. <laughs> we have a cancellation for tomorrow at 10 a.m. with Dr. <laughs> As a couple of times, I mean, really, yeah, you've got to look after your ears and don't don't wash your ears. You don't need to be putting soap or water in your ears. Wash around your ears, but never, ever, ever wash your ears inside. You're likely to get an ear infection. And that's why people that go swimming um, are likely to get, they do tend to get ear infections. Well, not everybody, but, you know what I mean, ear infections. That's why you see swimmers, you know, they usually put the little thing in the ear, little plug. So water doesn't go inside. Where's in the tooth? Yes, yeah, swimmers here. Does anyone have any more questions? Yeah, motion sickness. In many years is the worst form of dizziness. It's horrible. Many years. You can actually claim pip with many years. She actually make house calls. I am with baby wipes. Yeah. Don't ever clean your ears inside. Your ears clean themselves. And another thing, if you want to get, uh, you know, the wax out of your ears, um, don't get them syringed because that's dangerous. Go to a, I forgot what it is. You can actually just get them removed. What are the symptoms of normal vertigo? People assume vertigo is to do with heights. Vertigo has nothing to do with heights. You know, because that's the film Vertigo. Vertigo is to do with the inner ear. Although, obviously, if you look down or look up, you might uh, feel dizzy. Action once made me dizzy, never again. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Any ear infections, you want to get checked immediately. It could just go by by, by itself, but because you don't want it to, to spread to the inner ear, because once you get that, then you're prone to getting probably it come back and the vertigo is horrible man big up dr angeli thank you sarah i had vertigo last week and it turned out it was an air infection air infections do cause can cause dizziness yeah that's because you probably got an inner air infection is there anything you can do my sister is uh -huh. Does anyone have any more questions for Dr. Angela about vertigo? What's your availability? I think you could be my doctor. <laughs> uh, that, yes, the air is your balance 100%. I've had it. So always take care of your ears. And don't ever use cotton buds. Yeah, and a good thing to, to um, if you do have vertigo, is magnesium. I actually got the bo bottle, and I'll show you the bottle, the best magnesium to get. One sec. Um, if I've still got it. Here it is here. Ah. Um, obviously, if you have any medical or health, um, if you have any health problems or anything that, obviously check with your doctor first. <laughs> yeah. That this is the best um, um, to get, yeah. yeah. If anyone wants to write that down, that is the best magnesium to get. But always check, check with the doctor first, like, do you know what I mean? So if anyone wants to write that down. Okay. These aren't cheap, these are expensive. So. Yeah. Uh... I don't remember this one sick. Yep. 
and then you can take if you do get vertigo meds for and you know for the sickness but unfortunately there's nothing much you can do about the uh, dizziness but you do, if you do still suffer with non spinning vertigo meaning when your head don't spin but you get like the feeling like you're on a bow or you feel like you're rocking you're lightheaded that kind of thing there are exercises you can do they're called vest vestibular exercises you can go on youtube and do them but always make sure you check with your doctor first you know what i mean i don't want to be giving bad advice here you know if you've got some kind of medical problem um they, they do make you quite dizzy though you know what i mean the exercises so you've got to take caution with them you know what i mean god's sake don't come here in the morning that if you fell down the stairs or fell over or something and break your neck you know what i mean but always um speak to your doctor about it first yeah you can ask a question we were having a uh we're having a uh, doctor session here so yes ask away cotton buds how else do you clean ears do not use cotton buds that's the worst thing you can use for ear, your ears number one it could get caught inside you can da also damage your ears you don't need to clean inside your ears clean outside your ears the ears clean themselves my doctor uh, when i went with symptoms of vertigo has put me for an mri why would they do that well what kind of symptoms when you say because if you have vertigo where it's spinning it could be a sign of a stroke do not be alarmed i'm not saying that's what it is but um some people with a stroke do get vertigo so i when he says what kind of mri where it went with symptoms of vertigo put me through an mri depends what your symptoms are um if it's just spinning it could be you know um they want to make sure it rule out a stroke because um, usually that is the first sign of a stroke is the vertigo yes they do normally do an MRI I had one yeah I take it they're doing a, a, a x-ray of your of your the head the brain they wouldn't be no it wouldn't be the ear Oh, it depends on all, all, uh, on your symptoms though, do you know what I mean? Yeah, usually um, any kind of vertigo where you're spinning or that kind of, or any kind of vertigo is usually due to the, either the brain or the ear. Syringe to ears to go ahead, they say bad. Kaz, please don't do the syringe, it's very dangerous, it's very painful. Um, you want to go and see um, and a, a, um, and get them actually uh, taken out. What's that? What do they call those? What do they call it now, guys? Oh God! You know the um, when you get your the wax removed. Ah, uh, what is it called? Suction. You want to? Yeah, that's it. You want to get them out by that way. It's it's not painful. It's very quick. You don't want to put water in your ears. Suction. Yeah. Yeah, and you and you and before you go, make sure you use olive oil. Cut a few days beforehand. Put it in like twice a day or something, just to soften the wax. Suction, yeah, that's what you want. Don't please don't syringe your ears. Oh, I, I had that once, and oh my god, oh, the pain, the pain. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, Emma. If the MRI is clear, don't rely on meds and go try it, yeah. So the Angie, my doctor said that Angie, that to Angie you're right. <laughs> yeah, you know what, if you are suffering with vertigo, um, it's always best to go to a private if you ha you can afford it because there is a long waiting list in the NHS and they and a lot of the NHS, and it's a bit like ears, ears nose and do doctor don't specialise in vertigo really. You're wasting your time. You want to see a neurologist, you know what I mean? They say it's dangerous syringing, yeah. How much does it cost? Um, oh, I think it's cheap, but yeah. Are oh, we having a doctor se session here, DG, to this morning? You're having what? A, do a, se a doctor session, Dr. Angie in the house. Oh, that's mad, we just had a gynecology session. <laughs> Oh, oh, right, yeah, that's cool. Well, you do get male gy gynecologists. I should imagine so. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, yeah. Never be ashamed. We're all the same. Oh yeah, exactly. We were. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. How are you, DJ? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. <coughs> Does anyone have any more questions for <laughs> Doctor Angie? Did you fly up the popular board, DJ? Yesterday. Uh, did you did you fly up the board yesterday? No, I, I didn't look depressed enough. Yeah. Uh, I needed to like I needed to pull out some sort of a I don't know like trauma or family family emergency and maybe that'll help. But uh, you say that your nan died. I did. Can you say your nan died? Thank you. No, she's, already, she's already died three times. Once when I had to miss something, an appointment. Um, once oh. yeah, she can't really die any more times. I tell you what, she's she's like a cat, my nan. She's got nine lives. Yeah, my nan. My, nan's, my nan's died about ten times too. I once <laughs> told my job. Unfortunately, I once told my job the same job that she died, and then I told us. I told what did I tell her? I think I told them about a year later that she died again, and someone went. <laughs> and someone went your nan died last year. Someone, <laughs> someone I worked with. This was someone I worked with. I thought, you crassy little bastard. They went, Did your nan die last year? I went, okay. I got two nans. I got two nans. Both dead. Oh, oh that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. You can have more than one, can you? You can't have more than one then, can you? Well, of course you can. Oh. You, can have about, you can have four as, as far as I'm concerned. Now, the way it works is my sister's uncle got married to me nan's brother. And what happens is now I've got four grandmas, and unfortunately they're all about to pass. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Tina. Thank you everyone for the gifts. Thank you. Let's go tap the screen. Let's let's smoke uh, DG. Yes, let's go. Thank you, Tina. Are you good? What are you up to today then, DG? Just me. Hey. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got a fight at one o'clock, so I'm right. sparring. No, not one o'clock. Yeah, yeah, like sparring. All oh, right. Are you going live with that? No, no, I don't do that. No. <laughs> I, I will do after my fight. I will do because it'll be a bit different. Like uh, it's, no. but I don't want Alfie to know an anything about how I fight. So. Oh, yeah. are you a boxer then? Nah, I just, um, I just, just, I'm doing it for this fight. I've only been doing it for about ten, eleven weeks, but I'm, I'm all right. I'm fit now, so it's good. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, is it, he's quite a heavy guy, isn't he? From what I saw, is it? Is that I don't know if I've seen him. Like, is he quite built bulky? Yeah, but you got your height on your side, and he's got the bulk. Yeah, but uh, as I say, like it, it, bulk, bulk. He means has to reach higher, doesn't he? So. Yeah, bulk means nothing. No, you can you can go to the gym and sit there and chat if we can use the doubles. She's not taking my twelve nuggies. Let's all oh, glue. He's got twelve. Let's go. Thank you. Got the tutor. That uh, height means nothing. Like you know, you, you've never seen. You, surely, you, it depends on the technique. And if you're good, and you can and you can pick up, pick up, pick off an opponent. Yeah. It doesn't fucking. Yeah, but I think weight comes with power, doesn't it? You have more power behind your punch. Yeah, also, a lot slower as well. So I'll be able to read his punches. Yeah, yeah more speed. Yeah. I'm gonna be a lot quicker. I don't think he's going to understand. I'm going to be a lot quicker than he is. Yeah, but that's true. Yeah. Oh. Big big heavy. And now, when no. is it? The 14th of December. Um, yeah, 14th of December. Well, yeah, it'll it's, be a big fight. You want to see my kit? Is it, is it, it's not kick fighting when it's bo just boxing. Just boxing. Not, no yeah. Kicking, no. yeah, good luck for that, then. I mean, my money's on the other guy, but you know. <laughs> I'm only like, really kidding. Who's that behind you? Is that there's, you? That's my kit. Ah. Thoughts. Yeah. Well, you look really toned. <coughs> yeah, because I'm really, uh, really cut. Well, yeah, it's, it's fucking hell. I've been doing enough. I've been doing enough. Um, I've been doing enough cardio. <coughs> yeah, well, I would give him a good seeing to. Oh, for God's sake! You know, uh, as you know, I've got all women on this side. They don't get out. Yeah, there's a. Uh, yeah, but well, I'll show you my full kit. I'm gonna upload it on Insta. Um, I'll show I'll show you his mask later. Yeah, it looks it does look like you've gone to the gym and all that, you know. No, no, I haven't been to the gym. I've just been training in boxing. So like I've just instead of me going to the gym and lifting weights, I've just been putting bare like I've been putting loads of um cardio in and like loads of boxing. Um boxing um like you know, like mate, he has your 
my my boxing coach has me dripping when I come out. Mm. Like dripping, it's it's bad. Like I come out and I'm like, <gasps> but then no, I've done a decent, uh, I've done a decent workout. So, <laughs> do you know anything about his background? He's been boxing for a year, just over a year. So, whereas in May I've been doing it, to, uh, I've been doing it eleven weeks now. So, oh, wow, so he's got an advantage then, hasn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, but at the same time. I'm very competitive and I pick things up fast, so hopefully I'm going to get in there and he's going to fucking, he's going to feel the wrath of the, the end of one of these, mate. Yeah. Uh, when I did boxing, I, it was the first time in the <laughs> asked me, when's your fight? And I said, I haven't got a fight. And this is my first day of boxing. And he goes, I thought you was a boxer because you're actually the best beginner I've had. And you know why? Because I've done ballet, dancing. And yeah, it's oh, just yeah. a lot of feet work, isn't it? You know, you move around and do all that kind of thing. And that, I think that's what I was good at. More, more than the, the actual the rest you know what i mean but you've got to have good feet work yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you've got to you got to know how to run man <laughs> you need to know skip run oh. <laughs> I, i'm not gonna be skipping i ain't gonna be skipping nowhere yeah but you know what the thing is you know what dave duran made a mistake of when i was watching and that listen i'm in you know more than me is that he tied him out himself out too quickly he should have paced himself and, yeah. and, made, and made him tired you know he didn't have any fitness though, did he? Yeah, let me just thank everyone. Uh, MVP Nikita, Nikita, thank you so much. Big up Claire. Nick. Thank you, Jill, Sam. Honey Jude, Bib, D, Ames, KJ, and everyone else. Thank you. Um, Ames, Sam, Miss Whiplash, CB, Ames, Amy, Joanna, Mel, and Chris. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, but I think the <coughs> went too quickly. You know what I mean? I think he should have tired him out and then gone. You know. Yeah, but he didn't train at all for his fight. He didn't train. He just got in and he just got in and fought. So like, he, you know, he was smoking. He was sat there smoking a vape before we got in the thingy and ciggies and that. So he didn't really take it too seriously. But uh, listen, the respect goes to Alfie. He's, he's going to be fit and he's going to be a hard fight. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think my, my speed, my speed is going to just yeah, and, and my length is just going to absolutely whop him. Yeah, maybe he'd try and tie him out because he is a bigger guy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go in for the kill. <laughs> but he's also fit as fuck. He's an ex-soldier. Um, he's an ex-soldier, and he goes to the gym. Like he just, it's like I, th I think he sleeps in the gym. I'm not sure. Like he wakes up and does weights. He goes to bed and does weights. Well, uh, he, he he wakes up and does weights. Goes to bed and poses in the gym. So yeah. yeah. We'll but you just don't want him because he will have that power in it. You want to go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, but he needs to be able to catch me for that. Yeah, yeah. That's he needs to be able to catch me. He needs to be able to reach me. Otherwise, he's going to waste a lot of energy and keep missing because he's going to. He's just yeah. We'll see in it. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, it's two weeks away now, so two weeks of. Oh bloody hell! It's going to be live streamed. Yeah, yeah. On Instagram. Yeah, no, it's going to be live streamed on pay per view. Twelve point it is. What's pay per view? Pay per view. I don't know what that is. They're like twelve pound, and it goes on, and you get a link, and you click the link, and you can watch it on your phone, iPad, tele, I think. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it sounds like it'll be a good fight. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually, I should do a bit in it on this one. Yeah. Keep yeah. Bitting on it. <laughs> Guys, who's your money on? Should we do a little poll? I don't know if any, anyone knows the other guy though, do they? Nah, I couldn't watch you and Casey hurt you. Lulu, I promise you, he's not going to hurt me. He might hurt me, but... Face PG, sad face the other guy, if you know who he is. Yeah, I don't know. He's done a year boxing and he's quite fit. He's been in the army. Got to be fit to be in the army, so... Might take a bit to tie him out. Hey, thank you, everyone, for the uh, roses. Appreciate it. <laughs> and do you have beef with this guy, DG, or is it just... A bit, yeah. Like, I, I, he's just got one of them. He's got one of them faces. He's so like, in all honesty, he is. He, he's arrogant. He's very. He's very. He, he just got the biggest mouth, and he, he think. I think he thinks he can talk him his way to winning this fight, and I just can't wait to silence him. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting anyway. Thank you, Shan. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. Big up everybody. So yeah, we won the poll. I won the poll. Hey, big up Angie's chat. Oh yeah, you won the poll. Hey, thank you, Martin. Hey, we can ch chat. Use the troubles. You know, you Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Emma. Thank you, everybody. 
what's his name? S H Alfie. Like as I say, no fair play to him. He's he's, he's ripped and he's a uh, he's he's a he's quite a size. You know what I mean? So how tall is he? Uh, five foot eight. Hey, <laughs> Claire. Isn't he five foot eight. So he's quite short then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a foot. There's a foot difference between us. And probably like I've got that extra. I've got that extra, and that's a lot in a box. Like that's a lot in a box. In fact, I've probably got more than that. Like that. That's a long ass reach, mate. Right? Look. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna have to do exactly. that. It is a reach. Oh bloody hell! He used to be in the army. Means nothing, Hobie. Hey, well, it does. It means a lot. It means he's fit. It's quite tough, the army. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you've got to be fit for boxing, don't you? And you, you smoke as well, don't you, DG? Yeah, that's the problem. I can't give them up. Yeah, so it does mean a lot being in the army. Hey, uh, to, you know what? To me, at the end of the day, yeah, this has got me out of a out of a bit of a... Uh, I've said this, but this has got me out of a space where I was, I was being lazy. I was yeah. lazy because I didn't do any fitness. My mental health probably wasn't the best. Like, I was just felt lethargic all the time felt thingy for me this is an experience getting in the ring having a fight with someone seeing seeing how we get on if i win fucking bonus if i lose i'll i'll train again and i'll come back again in march and i'll fight and i'll still fight again in march if i win but rickster's the next guy on my list rickster you don't like yeah. rickster no ah isn't it is he a boxer rickster Become box Amazon parcels, a little lizard. Ah, uh, and it's all about mental, isn't it? Well, what's all here as well, isn't it? Yeah, you can't be nice to be boxer men. You got to have a certain degree of um, anger. That's why I was great with bo at boxing. Because <laughs> I had all the anger. <laughs> ah, yes. I was saying this last night. I, I don't. I'm not really one of them people anymore. I used to be a very angry person, like, I'm very, like, I'll snap at anything. And I, I learned to not be that person. But on that night, on that night, that guy in front of me, SH, is going to be the guy that's done everything bad to me in my past. And I'm going to see people who I've not wanted, who I've, who I've dug away, and he's going to get it. Yeah. Well, good luck with it. So, well, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. All right, then take care, and I will look forward to the 14th of December. Yes. Take it easy. See you later, DG. Yeah, bye-bye. There you go, guys. SH, is that who is fighting? Yeah, I don't know if it's SH. I don't know his full name. Oh, I hope he wins. Yeah. Oh, does anyone want to do a bit? Put a bit on with me. So, does anyone gonna put? I, I I'm gonna bit on the other guy. <laughs> does anyone want to put a bit? Anyone? Fifty pound bit. Yeah, but you got to pay the money though. Last time I did a bit and I won, they didn't pay up. Actually, listen, let me go, let me do a hundred pound bit. I'll do a hundred pound bit with someone that wants to do that. No, let's do fifty pound bit, then I can do it with two people. Okay, blue eyes, right, I bet you fifty quid, my money's on the other guy. I love DG, don't get me wrong, I do, but I hope he doesn't take it personally, it is only business. can't have too many people because um, I'll be owing loads of money. Um, but you got to pay up, guys. You know, don't just bet me a bit and then not pay the money. Put names in a hat. Good idea. Let's put names in a hat. One sec. That's fair. Okay. Right, where's my pen? If I can find my goddamn pen. Let me just do that. Okay, wait a minute, let's get that. Right. I've got it ready. Wait a minute. I have to use eyeliner. 
Whereas I can't find my goddamn pen, but I do have 13 of these. Where's my pen gone? Let me let me get get one my sec. Wait a minute guys, I've got a pen somewhere here. God's sake, can you believe I don't have a goddamn pen? Right, okay, well, I'm gonna put a, I'm just gonna use this mascara eyeliner, obviously. Right, we have blue eyes. Right, who else is bidding? <laughs> um, Diamond Star. Yeah. Who else? Me, please, Joanne. We'll just do it to about 10 guys and then I'm gonna just, cause everyone will be like, me, 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 Joanne. Who's next? Um, me, me. Oh, there's so many people saying me, 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 but I don't want, bloody hell. Mad Mog. Mm. 